you, you seem to settle into a uh, role in that uh, you are relieving uh, um, Sweet Bay. And uh, what do you what, what do you feel like you bring to 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 the floor when you come on? Uh, yeah, when I, when I get in the game, I try to bring as much energy as possible, um, provide a spark, um, whether that be, you know, rebounding while, you know, Oscar's taking a break or, you know, blocking shots or just making the right play. Uh, just kind of come in and just do whatever I can, whether that be for five, ten minutes, just do whatever I can to, you know, help the team keep momentum or just, you know, get started. Very good. Go ahead. Yeah, Lance, I wonder uh, how you balance wanting to play with Oscar playing so unbelievably, trying to deal with those two things. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the cards that I was dealt. Um, Oscar is really good, and the way he's playing right now is just unbelievable. And like I said, like, this is the role that I'm given right now, so, like, I have to make the best of it. Uh, like, I could pout. You know, not want to play, but, um, you know, I'm just going to make the most of my opportunity and, you know, do what I can. And I wonder, uh, I, heard, I listened to Coach Cal's radio show last night, and he was saying he didn't want you guys to get full of yourselves, you know. Don't yeah. start thinking, you know, we, we're here, maybe. No, no. How, def- uh, how do you how do you all react to all that, you know, the praise? I mean, it's, it's obviously nice, but – we know that there's bigger goals and, uh, you know, we have to, you know, still win games. Um, you know, obviously beating Kansas is a big win that we needed, but, you know, it's still more to accomplish. It was just kind of, you know, to hopefully that gets us going and, you know, we could build off that. We just don't want that to be our, our last big win. Thanks. Uh, Tucker, we'll go to you next. Thanks, yeah, Lance, I wonder for a few weeks now, Cal has been sort of talking about you that was coming along and, and bragging on you, even in even in games where maybe you didn't play a ton of minutes, would, he would single out some kind of effort you had made. I, I wonder how much that helped you uh, just to have confidence that he so, seemed to sort of believe that you were turning a corner and, and yeah, that it's, impacted how you Yeah, played. I mean, it, it's big when um, your coach says stuff like that. Uh, obviously, that gives me way more confidence. Um, but it just makes me want to work harder. Uh, you know, if he's giving me this uh, praise, I want to keep on being able to perform. I just don't want it to be just one game. I want to keep on getting better every single game and, you know, help my team every single game. So. Larry Ball, we'll come to you next. Uh, hey, Lance, yeah, I was wondering, just kind of tell me a little bit, what's it like practicing? against Oscar and going against him every day? And how has he made you better because you've had to do that? Yeah, well, I mean, he's probably going to be in the talks for, you know, National Player of the Year. Uh, going up against him every day is a blessing. Um, obviously got me way better. Uh, the physicality part, um, being able to try to rebound against him, uh, box him out, stuff like that, because you're not going to find that too often, somebody that's built like him and could do the things that he could do. So honestly, it's just... I love it, even though it's a challenge every day, but that's good. That's what I came here for, uh, you know, a challenge, and I definitely get that with Oscar. So do you beat up on him some days in practice? Yeah, I beat up on those days. <laughs> Ron Hale, go ahead. Lance, I'm sure you heard the talk, too, about, you know, how does this team play when Oscar's not on the floor? That was such a storyline for most of the year. How much did you take that as kind of a personal challenge to prove that you guys could still be productive when he wasn't in the game? Um, Like I said, just, you know, even when people say stuff like that, I just know what, what my role was going to be. Um, You know, as the season went on and we started playing more games, then I understood kind of what I had to do. And... um if, like I said, if that's, you know, being out for 10 minutes and trying to keep up the production level, um, obviously that's what I want to do. I want to go in and play as best as I can. Um, I work hard. Everybody on the team works hard. So just like anybody, when we go in, you know, you want to you want to play the best you can and, you know, not have any drop off as a team when you come in the game. Thank you, Gabriel, go ahead. Yeah, Lance, watching uh... – that rock fight last night between Duke and Notre Dame, the two teams that you guys played earlier, 
clearly you're better now than you were when you played them. Uh, what would you say? How are you guys better? Um, you know, just like anything, you get better with time. Uh, so when you are around a group of guys and, you know, just mesh and, you know, certain things are different. You know, when we kind of played Duke, Notre Dame, it was still really early, like you said. And we just might have not had to feel with each other like we do now. So that's probably the biggest thing. Long, go ahead. Lance, after the game on Saturday, it seemed like everybody was so happy for Keon and his performance. I think Oscar was more happier for, for Keon than he was for anybody else. But what does that say about Keon himself and about the team that uh, you guys would, would be so supportive of him? I mean, Keon's always there for all of us whenever we have a good game. Uh, Keon's definitely a leader. So when we see our leader, you know, have a great game like he just did, obviously we want to show love and praise. Um, Keon definitely helped us a whole bunch against Kansas, and he kind of deserved it. It was, uh, you know, we knew that Keon could do stuff like this, and we were kind of waiting for him to have a game like that, and I couldn't be any happier for him. Uh, I know the team, the coaches, so just we need Keon to do stuff like that more often, and then we'll be, we'll be in good shape. Go ahead. Yeah, where do you feel like um, Oscar has has made like the biggest influence on you guys as as a group, and where do you feel like maybe you all have mutually kind of uh, you know influenced him, helped him um, really find the develop into the kind of player that he is? Uh, honestly, it probably wouldn't even be on the court with Oscar. It'd probably be off the court with his personality, and uh, you know everything that he does for us off the court. He's just always in good spirits. And that's big um, to be able to come in the locker room every day, happy, um, you know, and be able to pick everybody up. And obviously on the court, the stuff that he does is is going to help everybody, him rebounding and stuff like that. But, you know, we kind of help Oscar, especially me, uh, sometimes in the bigs. If Oscar doesn't understand something, try to walk him through and, um, you know, make adjust adjustments, whether that had to be guard ball screen or stuff like that. So... Go ahead. Hey Lance, hope you're doing well. Uh, Lance, for, uh, with Kim and uh, and Oscar on the floor at the same time, but how big is the versatility of the of that group, and how how different the dynamic is on both ends? Um, I mean it's different. Just the stuff that me and Oscar definitely don't play the same. So when I'm on the floor, it's probably a, a little bit more spread out because I'm not in the paint as much, posting up. So I'll probably be on the perimeter, you know, dribble handoffs and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So it's just four spread a little bit more and just, you know, probably a free flowing offense. Very good. Then we'll circle back to you. Yeah, Lance, uh, when you were asked about practicing against Oscar, it made me think that you have probably better insight than most people in how he does it how he makes 20 rebounds seem re almost routine. How, how, what do you think is his method? How's he doing it? Uh, he's really strong. Um, you know, he'll, he can move you out the way. His timing is great. He just you know, has a feel for where the ball is going to go. And kind of whenever he gets his hands on it, it's probably it's not going to come out. Um, so if he touches the ball, it's probably, he's probably going to pull it in. So it's just effort, really. He has a lot of effort, and that's the main thing, effort. And, and one other thing, what uh, what memories come to mind when you played Vandy the first time? Anything uh, stand out in your mind? Um, I, I didn't really play too much against Vandy, but I was definitely watching the game. But nothing, nothing in particular that stands out. Uh, I know they're a good team. They have a, a good uh, win record on the road. And, you know, we definitely have to come into this game prepared and, you know, be ready for them because they're a really good team and, you know, can potentially beat us. So we just have to play every game like, you know, we went into Kansas. Very 